video covers the E harmonic minor scale. Let's take a look at the keys involved to get a good understanding of the visual pattern it makes on the keyboard. So in E harmonic minor there are two black keys. We have an F sharp and then we have a D sharp. You can remember where they are because they're on either sides of the roots of the scale. So when you look at a one octave E minor scale, you see that the F sharp is right above the root at the bottom, and then you can see that the D sharp is right above the root at the top. Also, make sure that when you're playing, you feel the difference between scale degrees six and seven. So this is the C and the D sharp. This interval of an augmented second, you're gonna have to stretch your fingers just a little bit more than usual. So when you get a good understanding of where that F sharp and D sharp is, then you're ready to move on to the hand separate groups. All right, now it's time for our right hand groups. So we're gonna take that thumb, we're gonna put it over E, second finger goes to F sharp, and third finger is over G. This is our first group of three, we're gonna hold it down. Now for our group of four, we're gonna move our thumb to A, second finger to B, third finger to C, and stretch that fourth finger up to D sharp. This is our group of four, press it down. Let's watch our thumb move back down to E for our group of three, press it down. That thumb's gonna move back up to A for our group of four, press it down, and we're gonna move that thumb back down to E for our group of three again. Now for the two octave groups. So that thumb is still over E. For our group of three, we have E, F sharp, and G. Just watch your thumb. Your thumb's gonna move to A for your group of four. Make sure you get that fourth finger on D sharp at the top. The thumb's gonna move now up to E for the next group of three. And now the thumb's gonna move one more time to A for our group of four. Don't move your hand, your pinky's right there over E. Play that E. Now we're gonna come down. So our fourth finger's over D sharp, don't have to move. Hold down our group of four. Now let's watch our third finger move to G for our group of three. Press it down. The fourth finger is gonna move to D sharp for our group of four. Press it down. And then the third finger is gonna move to G for our last group of three. Press it down. Now for the left hand groups. So like with all of our group one scales, our pinky is gonna go over E, but because this is neither part of a group of four nor a group of three, we're gonna start with our fourth finger over F sharp. So this group of four is gonna be fourth finger over F sharp, third finger over G, second finger over A, and thumb over B. Press it down. Now we're gonna move our third finger to C, open up that second finger to D sharp, and thumb over E. Press it down for your group of three. Now we're gonna move back to our group of four. So we got that fourth finger on F sharp and our thumb is right there over B for the group of four. Press it down. We're gonna move up one more time for our group of three. Third finger over C, second finger over D sharp, thumb over E. We're gonna move back down to our group of four. Watch that thumb go back to B. Fourth finger's anchored over F sharp. And now we're gonna press our pinky on E. All right, now it's time for two octave groups. So that pinky is still over E. We're gonna hold down our group of four, fourth finger over F sharp, thumb over B. Now we're gonna move into our group of three, that third finger's over C. Now we're gonna move into our next group of four, watch that fourth finger go to F sharp. And our last group of three, third finger over C. Now we're gonna go back down, just watch your thumbs. So your group of four, thumb goes to B. Make sure you get that fourth finger over F sharp. Next group of three, thumb goes to E. And then we're gonna go down one more time to our group of four, thumb over B. And your pinky is already over E, and press that down. Now we're done.
As always, before hands together, make sure that you can see the relationship between both hands instead of one hand and then the other. So, like our group one scales, our third fingers always play at the same time and our thumbs play together on the root. So in this scale, your third fingers are playing over G's and C's. And the root of E minor, of course, is E. So your thumbs are gonna be playing on those E's in the middle. As you're trying these hands together, take your time, maybe take a little bit of a pause before you cross under or cross under. Make sure you can see those groups of three and four and you can see where those third fingers line up together over G and C. When you feel like you got it, you're ready to move on to hands together with the metronome. That is it for E harmonic minor. I hope you got something good from the video, learned a good scale. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you liked, let me know what you didn't. And if you appreciate the content, definitely check out the link to the shop below. Keep practicing and stay powerful, y'all.